welcome back to Shritopia Entertainment. Today we are going to be doing some Spirosity, I mean Spirosity Quill Art. Because I just loved Quill Art so much. I can't help but buy this beautiful set of rainbow colors to make some crafts on my iPhone. So let's get started onto the video book. But before I get started, want you really badly to like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications and comment down below. What kind of favorite art do you like? So today, so let me show you the, in the kit what comes in the kit. So first you get of course one big postcard to make all your designs. Let's keep that you get some strands of hair that I already opened because I wanted to make so many that I couldn't wait and we get a backup set of strands of not hair paper paper strips an instruction manual showing what all cards are there and the instructions of course we need those in everything that we make but I don't even know how to pull this. <laughs> but let's leave it. Then we also get a size size checker, like some kind of thing that checks how big your roll, your quilling roll, ha should be according to the instructions and your card. Then you also get some sparkling stones there are only two colors but that's okay it is you see this pink it's pink and orange or golden or yellow depending on the shape I guess we've got some smaller cards also only two are left because I just made all of the cards because I couldn't wait it just came day before yesterday and I just wanted to create all of them so only three are left two small ones in this and one giant one and also of course the rolling thing the roller the spiral coil so it actually comes like this can you see it closely it comes like this but you have to attach it to your spiral coil somehow I don't know how do you do that anymore how do you do it oh yeah so you attach it to your spiral coil thingamajig and it becomes like this so that was all that is in the kit so today's art hmm, what should we make I actually don't know should we make a fairy with giant wings or a mermaid I think I want to make a mermaid because it's pretty small pretty decent let's do that okay we don't need this anymore because only one is left so let's throw that out it goes the bin I have such a good throw hmm. but friends let me know which one would you like to do this one or this one okay so let's get started now according to the instructions it says that you have to make it with purple blue and green no pink or white or yellow fine you're just gonna have to live the green and blue way i guess but okay let's take our card let's take our strands and let's take our coiler and let's take our size checker whatever it's called okay so first we need to take out the strand first we're gonna start with purple a small color because if I can't use pink I'm gonna use purple and where is the Ok, 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie smokey. It's really hard to take it out, so you have to be really careful when you get this set. I'm gonna keep this right here. And we're gonna take our strand. We're gonna put it in these two holes of the spiro spirocoilo. It's so hard to say it. We're gonna put it in the center. Now you have to press your thumb and then twist it and keep on twisting that thing. Twist it and 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 twist it. Wow, I'm already so tired. I mean, it's so hard to roll it. It's just a shot. It's getting closer and boom. Now, do you see this white part over here? Well, that part is actually the sticky part. You don't need glue or you don't need tape or anything that needs sticking. You don't even need oil or water or your own saliva if you're some person like that. You just need, you just need to take out the white, white thing. Now, be careful friends when you're taking your roll out. Make sure it doesn't become like a spring or else it'll spoil. But it should be like this. This is how it should be. Now, according to the instructions, it says that it should be like this itself. So let's keep it this way. We're gonna keep it somewhere. Let's keep it in the size checkers E section because that's the only section that's not needed. So let's make another strand of purple. Now we're gonna repeat this process again. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of purple. Oh no, oh no, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so dead if I'm not able to do this. Okay. Hiya! Okay, yay! Okay, so we're gonna take our strand again. Do the same process. Put it inside. How do you even put it inside? It's like literally so hard to see. It's like you're suing something. But we're gonna keep rolling it. And then come to the edge, come to the sticky part. And then just roll it. Now, the tip is that you have to be really, really focused on this thing. It's like really hard. And super duper hard. And yeah, we're just gonna keep making it and making it and making it and making it and making it. We're gonna stop, peel it out, throw it in the trash. It didn't really go in the trash, just a minute. And now we're gonna stick it. Oh, and it's become kind of light white. It's become a bit lilacish. But we've got our other roll. Woohoo! We are making such good progress. Okay. Technical difficulties. We we need six strands of glue. Okay. That's just great. Just great. We need six strands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, after this, only one strand is left. That's just great. That's just great. But okay, only one strand left. My pile is getting over. Okay, now we're gonna take our little, little strand. Wait, how many did I take? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Good. I thought we took too many or too little. It's okay if I took too little. I thought I took too many. So we're gonna do the same process, but this time it's gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna show you. First, we're gonna have to, of course, we coil our little thingamajig and just coil it, 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 coil it. Sounds from Puggle by Batsha. And yes, if you think I'm a foreigner, that's wrong. I am an Indian. I just... I want to be a British person, but British was India's enemy, so 
I don't want to be that kind of enemy person. I just want to be a friendly Indian. So I am an Indian. It's not about your choice. It's just that where were your parents born? So that's where you are also maybe born, I guess. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna make a roll. Now this is our roll. We're gonna make another one like this. We're gonna have to oh 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 okay 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 okay. I thought I had to take the last strand of blue paper strip because I don't know. I already I really wanted that blue, but looks like it's gonna get over. Good thing we have a backup strand thing. Good thing we have that because otherwise it would be a bloop. A bloop. Now, yes, just keep rolling and rolling. Reach the end. It's the same process like always, so maybe you're gonna be a bit bored. Please, please forward this because I'm not gonna be speaking this. I'm just gonna be rolling it and yeah, so please, I advise you all to follow to forward it or else bad things will happen so let's start let's i'm gonna give you three seconds to forward okay three two one forward it forwarding right there because now we've come to the part where you've been waiting for your whole life so the part is that we're gonna have to make it bigger like this then you just now this time I have to remove the sticky part and then make it bigger like this this is our small version size and this is our big version size so yeah and now we're going to have to trim it and just pinch it to make the perfect shape and there you go you've got your little leaf part just look at it it has to be exactly like the instructions so it's exactly like the instructions right now yep and i just like that rhyme so much that i liked it ever since i was a child but it's okay we've made our first leaf now we've got three more leaves to go and then we'll be done with the the blue we're gonna use our 
three stands. One we're gonna take this. Now here's a tip that you of course can take the strand all in once, as many strands that you need all in once from your little bunch and you don't have to just keep plucking and plucking and plucking, plucking it after you make a hole. That's what I did right now. So we're gonna do the same process over again. Forward it in three, two, one, and start forwarding. Okay friends, stop your forwarding right there because there is a twist in this rolling one is that now we have to um, now we have to now we have to do this thing you have to now we have to I'll just show you just let me roll this coil and just keep forwarding I don't know how to pronounce what I'm going to do next so just keep forwarding <laughs> now I'm going to show you something that you cannot try to make perfect so first of course you have to make it big and also you have to check it in your size A I forgot that because I was just making so good progress without the checker of size that I forgot to even use it but now we're back and we're checking with the size and it's perfect so now the thing is that you have to actually press the whole thing and make it flattened so that it becomes a tiny leaf not a enormous leaf so we have to press the whole thing and this is how it becomes you have to press the whole thing and this is how it becomes now we're gonna do the same process and please forward this I advise you to follow forward this okay I'll start forwarding right now go Okay friends, stop your forwarding right there because now we are coming to the last and final part of quilling. Now this time 
we're going to take a green strand out of our bunch which is a tiny bunch already <laughs> i hate this oh this one's already out which means we're going to have to throw this in the trash i guess no stop don't throw this in the trash we're gonna have to roll with it, but it's okay. We can always use it whenever we want. But now, it's time for the big and final part of our mermaid quilling. So, our final part is like this. We are going to again coil it, and then I'll see you when we coil it. It's okay if you don't forward this, but I preferably advise you to forward this. But if you don't want to forward it, it's okay. Just, just watch me, okay? Just watch me, okay? Okay. Okay friends, stop your forwarding right there because now we are coming to the big and final part of our quilling. Now we are going to take out the peeler because we have to make it big. Now we are going to make it enormously enormous as big as size D and make it human, enormously enormous. Enormously enormous. Enormously enormously enormous. At least like how it's supposed to be in size C. So we're gonna make it like size C. And yeah, so we are going to make it. And this is our roll. It's literally the enormousest. Now the challenge is we have to poke it and make a little leaf out of it. I don't know where I'm gonna be making this, but I'm gonna be making it. And we are done with our final piece. We're going to put it in size D. And now let's get to the main part. Now the main part, I didn't tell you the secret of it. The secret of it is, how will you stick it? That I am answering right away. Look, it tells you all the instructions on how to, how you should be doing it. So... Yeah, it tells you T, A, T, A, B, E, and yeah. So, let's do it. So, it's also a sticky part. So, you are really supposed to be really lucky. So, now we're going to be the sticking part. You can forward this part in 3, 2, 1. Forward it. Ok, 
Okay, friends. Now we're gonna make it a bit bigger, and then it will be done. I hope. I really, really hope. I really, really hope. video if you did smash that like button and i'm gonna see you guys next time